your why has to be greater than that knockdown. And I love it. Buster Douglas got knocked out. Nobody ever got knocked out by Mike Tyson and ever got back up. Three, two, one, and ding, 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 saved by the bell. He goes to his corner. The whole world is like, yep, that's it. Once he comes back out, that's it. Mike's going to just hammer him. And exactly that, Mike Tyson came out like, I got him. I got this kid up against the rope. Listen to me, many of you right now, life's got you up against the rope. You can't give up. You can't give in. Listen to me, if it was easy, everybody would do it. And if life's got you backed up, I need you to do what Buster Douglas did. Buster Douglas start fighting back. I don't think anybody watching this video has their backs against the wall, to be honest. I think now in this life, we actually have the opposite problem. Nobody got our back against the wall. And the world was shocked. <gasps> Goliath has been knocked down. What happened? And they went to Buster Douglas and they asked Buster Douglas simply like, what happened? And Buster Douglas said, listen to me, it's real simple. Before my mother died, she told the whole world that I was going to beat Mike Tyson. And two days before the fight, my mother died. Buster Douglas had, he had a decision to make. When his mother died, he could die with his mother, or he made a decision, I can wake up and I can live for mom. And he knocked Mike Tyson out simply because his why was greater than that punch. His why was greater than defeat. His why was greater than his trial and his tribulation. And I'm telling you, if you don't know what your why is, and your why isn't strong, you're gonna get knocked out every single day. Do you know, now I'm recording this in 2023 and uh, the war in Ukraine has been going on for almost one year. You know what surprised everybody in the world, including Ukrainians themselves? It was that they did not give up. Everybody expected them to just, oh no, Russians are coming, let's give up, let's run away. But nobody did that. Do you know why? Because there was no way. There was no way out. They knew that they have to stay, they have to fight, because they were tired of being afraid. They knew that there is no place to run. They, this is their home. The Russians are coming to their home, and especially after Bucha, when Ukrainians and the world saw that Russians come not to just occupy, not to just change the government, they come to kill to murder, to rape. Usual people, it could be your family, and whole families were murdered in their cars, running away. There was no more question of whether or not we should give up, whether or not we should sign an agreement. No, there is no more agreement with somebody who wants to kill you. And this is the point. It's either your life or the fight. And in the fight, you might lose your life, but you will lose your life anyway if you don't fight. And this is what the point is. If you have a good reason, and the reason has to be strong enough for you to give up your life, if you have that reason, you will not stop. You will not break. You will bend. You will cry. You will get hurt, but you will have to get up. If, as long as you are breathing, as long as you are exist you will get up and fight and you will do whatever it takes every day you will do this you will think about this you will get one step closer to whatever you are trying to achieve but that whatever you are trying to achieve has to be as important as your life so anyway guys that's my take on this please let me know what you think about this and uh, if you like this video hit the like button if you didn't like please let me know how i can improve okay and uh, if you want to develop your resilience please look at the link in the description and you will see my worksheet that i made for you it has 15 questions and by answering these questions you will become more resilient Okay, if you have hard times like I had when my son had cancer, those 15 questions would have helped me, but I had nobody to give me those questions. Now, if you are struggling with hard times in your life, get that. It will help you. And I will see you next time.